in an article by Richard, by Richard Feldman, uh, <clears throat> he, he discusses um, the alleged defect of Gettier counter of Gettier counter examples, um, Gettier his um, article is justified true true belief knowledge. I have a video about that. You, you can go look at that. Um, but um, the question is, um, if one has justified true belief, does that constitute knowledge? And <clears throat> um, the that's the main problem. And Gettier gave a couple different cases and kind of showed that, you know, you can have just you can have just that true belief that is not quite knowledge. It doesn't quite live up to the um, to the title of knowledge. Uh, but in this video, basically, what I want to do is I'd like to discuss um, the question as can there be justification from false evidence um, and this comes from it's just like a little consideration that comes from I guess it, it's something that Feldman considers but he's going like he's kind of he's kind of arguing against people like uh, David Armstrong who you know give counterexamples against Gettier um, and he said that they that they um, give up on the fact that um, that uh, you can have justification from false evidence. And I guess I want to ask the question in this video, um, can there be justification from false evidence? And, uh, <clears throat> because, um, you know, in the, uh, in, uh, Gettier's paper, in the case of Gettier, in, in uh, Gettier's paper, one of the cases was that, um, you know, um, there was uh, a proposition, and then there was a, a proposition entailed from that, from that, from the previous one. The first one was false, but the second one was true, and but the first one was false, and there was an entailment relation. It's gonna, this is going to discuss a little bit of logic about the material conditional and about the and about the entailment relation, but um, that's the main question I think should be asked, and I think for. I think that there can be ju can be ju justification, um, you know, given false false evidence. Um, <clears throat> I guess um, you know the qu then the question might, might further be asked. Well, can there be knowledge? Now, I, that's a different question. Uh, but some might say that if you have a proposition entailed from a false from a, from false evidence. Um, that, 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 prop, that, 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 that belief is not justified. Um, <clears throat> but like in the, in the, in the Gettier case, um, he had the belief, first of all, first off, that Jones has 10 coins in his pocket and Jones will, uh, will, uh, get the job. And he has evidence for this because the boss, Schist, the boss said to Smith, uh, that, that Jones will, um, will, uh, get the job, and he also counted the coins in, uh, Jones' pocket. But what he didn't know was that Smith himself, the one who's asking these questions, actually got, actually gets the job, and at the, and at the same time just happens to have ten coins in his, in, in his pocket. But from the first one, from saying that Jones will, that Jones will get the job, and Jones has ten, has ten coins in his pocket, you, you, get the you entail the belief the the uh, the belief that is that is entailed is that the man who will get the job has 10 coins in his pocket so um <clears throat> the question is you know then in the uh, Gettier case the first one saying that Jones will get the job and John ha Jones has 10 coins in his pocket is false now it's false because Smith actually got the job, and if you have a part of a conjunction, the, it's a it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a it's a conjunction. It's the and because Jones will get the job, and Jones has ten has ten coins in his, in, in his pocket. Jones may have ten coins in his pocket, but if he if he if he doesn't get the job, then the whole thing is false. Um, so that turns out turns, turns out to be false because Smith Smith got Smith got the, got the job, but infer infer from that from that from that first belief or entailed from that is. The fact that the man who will who will get the job has ten coins in his in his pocket. 
Um, <clears throat> and Smith happened, happened to get it. And Smith also happened to get half ten, ten, ten coins in his pocket. So the entailed belief is justified and true. Um, according to uh, Gettier. But again, Gettier asked the question, well, is that knowledge? And I guess the thing I want to pose to you is, is the is one justified in believing that? Are are is is um one justified in believing uh something that is entailed or um or um inferred from from evidence that is false? Uh, <clears throat> does that say anything? To does that have any bearing on the truth or possible just possible justification of the entailed belief? <laughs> And um, I guess the question is comes to the entailment and um, the uh, in the um, entailment and the conditional and you know the the whole thing about validity basically. But it's the entailment thing is that um, if we have um, a false in this is this is logic. If we have a false proposition and that when we get entailed from that, and we have a true proposition, the whole thing is true. If we have true entails a true proposition, the whole thing's true. If we have false entails a false proposition, the whole thing's true. But if we have a true true proposition that entails a false proposition, then the whole thing is false. So the only time an an entailment um, does not hold is if the um, First, the first proposition that entails another is true, and the entailed one is false. So, I guess the question here is, um, uh, given you know, given the uh, the uh, Gettier case of Jones of Jones and Smith, um, given the first one being false, given the entailment and the and the conditional relation relation with her, which are the same in the logic. Basically, and um, you know they're just talking about it a different way. But the if we're doing truth tables in sentential logic, then then this is the same. Um, <clears throat> it holds still. But I guess you know even if it holds in logic, you know how I, I would say that 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 would mean that 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 this whole thing holds, and we can. Have have justification even though the evidence that, that justifies it is false. You know, and I guess that kind of shows you something about the nature of justification itself. I think it's interesting to th to think to think about. Now, I um, this just comes from you know th thinking about the little article from Richard Feldman. And I think it's kind of interesting to to, th to think about. How I can be I can be I can be I can be justified in believing something, even though my evidence for believing it that 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 justifies it is false and has has no truth. <clears throat>